What's up you guys, it's your boy Dub Empire back with another video. So today I will be talking about the difference between 24 frames per second and 60 frames per second and why it's not always good to shoot everything at 60 frames per second. Okay, rule of thumb. When you're shooting in your frame rates, 24 frames per second and 60 frames per second, you always want to make sure that your shutter speed doubles your frame rate, okay? So if you're shooting at 24 frames per second, you want your shutter speed to be at 50. If you're shooting at 60 frames per second, you want your shutter speed to be at 120. It's basic math, y'all. It's not rocket science, so stay with me, all right? Yeah, you can shoot everything at 60 frames per second, but the only thing about that is when you go to edit it and put it in your 24 frames per second timeline, yeah, you might get a cinematic look, but it's not as great and beautiful as the original naturally shot 24 frames per second look. Another reason why you shouldn't shoot everything at 60 frames per second because your audio won't sync up to your camera. So if you have like an external audio recorder, it won't sync up to the time code of the actual camera. So when you go to edit, you're gonna realize that the audio is not matching the subject's mouth. So if you're working with an external audio recorder, you need to make sure that your camera is set at 24 frames per second in order for it to sync correctly. Always remember, if you're shooting a shot with audio and you know you're not gonna slow it down, shoot it at 24 frames per second. So if you shoot something that you wanna slow down in 24 frames per second, then you'll get that choppy look in your film. It's very unprofessional, you wanna avoid that. So now I'm gonna show you what happens when you try to slow down a 24 frames per second clip in the 24 frames per second timeline. So we're gonna grab this 24 frames per second clip. So you wanna right click it again. Go to speed and duration. So the speed's at 100, you wanna go to 40, hit okay. Let's hit play to see what we get. As you can see, it's a slow but choppy look. This is something that you want to avoid because it's just going to throw up red flags to say that you're a rookie, man. So try to avoid that. So if you plan on shooting certain shots in slow motion, you want to shoot at 60 frames per second. So it give you that smooth, cinematic, slow motion. So now you have a 24 frames per second timeline, all right? So here's your 60 frames per second clip. You go ahead and drop this clip in the 24 frames per second timeline. It's gonna ask you, the clip does not match the sequence settings. Change sequence to match the clip settings. Change sequence settings or keep existing settings. So you wanna put keep existing settings because if you go to change sequence settings, it will change the 24 frames per second timeline into a 60 frames per second timeline. So you don't want that. In order to slow it down to get that smooth slow motion, you wanna make sure the clip is highlighted. Right click on it, go to speed and duration. So the speed would normally be at 100. For the smoothest, cleanest, slow motion, you would have to set it to a 40 speed. So put it on 40, hit OK. So let's play it to see what it looks like. As you can see, it's, you get that smooth, clean, slow motion. You know, it's not really jittery. It's a cool, slow motion clip that you will want to have for your B-roll clips. So that's just a little bit about 24 frames per second and 60 frames per second. It's your boy Dub Empire with another video. Man, check me out. I got many more videos to come and I appreciate all the support. Deuces.